Good morning, this is Allie. This morning we're going to do a gentle yoga practice and it's suitable for everyone, including beginners. And as always, take what you need, leave what you don't. If there's anything that does not feel right in your body, please just continue to uh, stay in a um, gentle position where you continue breathing and staying present in your body. Um, I decided to go ahead and practice myself and record this before I turn on any news for the day. I know it's so easy during this time to get bogged down in that and um, it can itself breed you know, a lot of worry inside of us and um, negativity or anxiety. And the way you start your day really sets the tone for your day. So before I have even turned on any news, gotten on social media today, I wanted to go ahead and, and do this for myself to get in the right mindset, clear my head, um, and set the tone for my day, but also um, hopefully I can help someone else out there. So let's begin in a seated position. Um, if you have a mat, you can um, come to your yoga mat, or if, you, uh, if it's more comfortable to sit on a pillow, um, grab a pillow from your couch, or anywhere else and just get to where you can be comfortable. Rest your hands on your knees. Feel your sitting bones grounding into the earth and close your eyes here. Pay attention to your breath, where your breath is at this point in time. A lot of times we're breathing very shallow or quickly and just by taking a few minutes to tune in to where our breath is and um, if it feels labored and just bringing our attention to it and bringing deeper more controlled breath into our body can make a huge difference in the way we feel. So wherever your breath is, begin to slow it down. Begin to take slow inhales through your nose. Pausing at the top and exhale. Take three or four of these, feeling your lungs expand, feel your ribs expand with each and every breath. Think about this breath as though it's rejuvenating, as this oxygen that you're pulling in is Spreading as you exhale through all the cells in your body, easing any tension you may be holding on to. I can tell already in my own body that my shoulders are beginning to relax down. I'm not gripping my knees, my fingers are more relaxed. Notice where can you relax? Where can you? Ease up on any tension you're holding on to in your body. Unclench your jaw. Soften the muscles in your forehead, the muscles around your eyes and your cheeks. Allow the breath to be your anchor in this practice or in this um, time right now where we are coming into the present moment. If any other thoughts begin to come into your mind, 
shift them to the side. Imagine yourself just putting them on a shelf. Maybe you come back to them later. Maybe not. Bring your attention and your awareness back to your breath. And you can do this at any point during your practice today or at any point off of your mat when your mind begins to wander or thoughts or worries come into your head. Bring your attention to your breath. Begin to open your eyes and bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Let's take a few breaths together. So inhaling through your nose, looking up, exhale, chin towards your chest. Inhale, look up, reach up, and exhale. One more, take your gaze up, and exhale, chin to your chest. Breathe into the space, uh, or to the back of your neck here. Maybe your chin relaxes a little bit further down. And let's take some neck circles here. So going side to side first, go ahead and breathe out all your air. And then on the inhale, lifting your um, chin over to one shoulder. Pause here. Exhale through center to the other shoulder. Inhale here. Exhale through center. And if it feels okay in your neck, go ahead and take some full neck circles here. Reverse. Bring your head back through to center. And then inhale, reach up again. And on the exhale, let's take a twist. So opening your arms, take your gaze over to your back thumb. Inhale here, think tall spine, belly in and up. Exhale, maybe your gaze goes a little bit farther. Maybe your twist finds a little more ease and softness. Next, inhale, come through center. And exhale, twist in the other direction. Inhale, think, get tall through the crown of your head. Exhale, take your gaze a little further. Maybe your arm reaches a little further. Inhale, back through to center. And on the exhale, come into tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide on your mat. Really feel the knuckles and the uh, pads of each finger into your mat or the earth. And let's open up our shoulders here. So on the inhale, reach your right arm up. Take your gaze up towards your thumb. Exhale, let's thread it through and just come for a tap. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, come through for a tap. Inhale, open up a little bit more. Exhale, this time, stay down for a moment here. You're light in your right shoulder. Left fingertips walk out in front of you. And just like you have a little muffin underneath your, the palm of your hand, come up onto the tips of those fingers. Now, gently open up your left shoulder, your top shoulder, gaze underneath your armpit. A lot of times we get here and we stay, but actually we're way more open than we realize that we are. Breathing into the shoulder, into the neck. If it feels okay, you can walk your hand, your top arm behind your back, reach your thigh, 
or keep an open twist here, breathing, allowing gravity to assist you getting in a little more into your spine, a little more twisting action. Bring your left hand down underneath your shoulder, open back up, and on the exhale, place your palm back on the earth. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Left arm opens up on the inhale. On the exhale, thread it through for a tap. Inhale to open. Exhale, threading it through. One more, open up a little bit further. On the exhale, we're gonna stay down. Walk your right fingertips out in front of you. Take your gaze underneath your armpit. Feel this twist in your spine. Think about it like you're um, creating more space. You're wringing out anything that you're holding on to, tension, allowing your breath to find a little more ease. Bring your right hand back down underneath your right shoulder, open back up, and come back into tabletop. From tabletop, begin to warm your spine up with a few rounds of cat-cow. So for cow pose, on the inhale, your tailbone reaches towards the sky. Take your gaze up to the sky, drop your belly. Exhale, think about angry cat, arch your back towards the sky. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Take three more of these. Inhaling cow, last one. Exhale for cat. Pause in this last cat stretch. Maybe walk your hands about six inches out in front of you. Reach your tailbone towards your heels. Feel that stretch on the upper, your, in your upper arms, on the, um, in your shoulders, your upper back. Then come into child's pose. Bring your big toes together, knees wide on your mat. Extend your hips towards your heels. Your forehead rests on your mat. If this is a little too much in your body, you can always place a pillow or a folded up blanket or towel underneath your forehead. And this is an active pose, so don't get here and get lazy. Lift your elbows off the ground. Extend your fingers a little bit farther. And breathe here. Now, coming back up through tabletop, we're going to come to standing. So, you can walk your hands back towards your feet, um, coming onto your feet, and then rolling up one vertebra at a time. Your head comes up last. And... We're going to take a few minutes here to find our Tadasana. This is a mountain pose. It is really the basis for and the foundation for all poses. It's um, starting from the ground up. Feel your, the um, four corners of both your feet grounding into the earth. And lift your toes up. That helps really feel that groundedness. Feel your Kneecaps lifting up, you're engaged here. On an inhale, you can even place your fist right here, a little bit below your belly button. Feel yourself engage your core, your bandha. So inhale, pull your belly in and up. Exhale, tailbone tucked slightly towards the earth. 
Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands through, heart centered. Inhale, look up, reach up. On the exhale, fold forward. Keep a little water in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift here. Think about a straight line between the crown of your head and your tailbone. Bellies in. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, let's look up, reach up, high mountain pose. Exhale, hands through heart center, Tadasana. Inhale, reach up. On the exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. On the exhale, folding, coming into a plank position. So walking your hands and feet out. Traditionally, plank is um, straight line between your heels, the crown of your head. Um, if you're a beginner or if your belly or hips are dipping down or reaching up, not on that straight line, please, please, please drop your knees. Inhale here. Exhale, lower down. We're going to come into a few baby cobras here. So on the inhale, everything's hugging into the midline of the body. Inhale, lift your head. Lift your chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. Upward facing dogs. So you can stay in baby cobra or lifting up off of your mat, pressing the tops of your feet into your mat, pulling your chest through, and then come back to child's pose. Take three breaths here. Downward facing dog. So I'm going to come through tabletop here. Now curl your toes under, hips or uh, feet are hip width distance apart. And then begin to hover your knees on your mat, pressing your chest towards your thighs. Then begin to straighten your legs, heels reach towards the earth. Set your gaze to a point at the back of your mat. And Think nothing but the breath here. Begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach up. On the exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, fold forward, walk it back out to plank, knees lifted or down, exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. On the exhale, downward facing dog. Walking hands back to me. Your feet again, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. High mountain on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, walk it out, plank. Exhale, lower down, knees lifted or rest them on your mat. Inhale for upward facing dog. And come into child's pose. Next inhale, coming through tabletop. And take a moment here to really engage, really hugging everything into the midline. So, I'm actually going to come to seated for a minute here. Think about as you breathe in, as you inhale, think about a zipper zipping up through the midline of your body. So on the inhale, everything hugs in. Zip up. Exhale. 
everything is active here. So holding that while you're in this tabletop position, extend your left leg back and your right arm forward. Now playing with a little balance here. Maybe your right arm comes out towards the side. Maybe your left leg comes out towards the side. And then bring it back to center. So let's move with the breath. On the inhale, let's move out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, bring it in. One more. And release that side. Shake it out. Now, you can take any or all of this. Remember, um, you can modify. You can always just uh, extend your leg and move um, the lower portion of your body. You can do just your arm. Um, take any or all of this, whatever is right in your body. Now, other side, right leg extends behind you. Toes face the earth, left hand is long. Get your breath, fire up your core. On the inhale, open it out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale to open. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale to open. Exhale, bring it in. And lower down with control. Now come into rabbit's pose. It's kind of like child's pose, except knees are together. And your arms, instead of extending them in front of you, bring them down by your sides. Let your shoulders just relax here. Melt towards the earth. Now coming back into tabletop. Modified crescent lunge. So step your right foot forward. And in this position, I'm actually going to face you. Well, you can. I don't know if the camera will get me here, but we'll give it a try. And then I'll turn to this side. This is my first video in this little setup for a whole practice. So bear with me. Um, feel your front foot grounding. So that feeling of those four corners of your foot grounding into the earth. Make sure your knee is stacked over your ankle. And then on the inhale, reach up. Feel yourself lifting through your torso, your belly's in and up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen, create space. On the exhale, hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Inhale, lengthen, get long and tall through the crown of your head. Exhale, take your gaze over your top shoulder. Inhale, create space. Exhale, maybe your leg pushes against your elbow, creating a little resistance, but helping your shoulders open up. We're going to stay here for three more breaths. Breathing space, creating space with each inhale, with each exhale, opening up a little bit more. If you want a little more, you can always come up onto your back foot, embrace the wibble wobbles as I have too, it's normal. Yoga teaches us that even when times in life is a little bit shaky, we can ground ourselves and come back into um, steadiness, feeling supported, feeling grounded, just by tuning into our breath and our bodies. Bring it back around to front. On the exhale, plant your hands, come back to tabletop, shake it out. We'll do the same thing, other side. So left foot comes forward. Inhale, reach up. Now check your knee, make sure it's not overextending your ankle. You want it stuck directly on top of your ankle. If you feel a little bit wobbly, walk it out towards 
um, the left side of your body. Inhale, create space. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, belly in and up, zip up. Exhale to twist. Hook your elbow. Inhale, create space all the way from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Exhale, twist. Take your gaze over your top shoulder. You can stay here. Or belly in, belly tight. Come up onto the ball of your back foot. Wherever you are, create space for something new. Notice how with each breath, finding a little bit more, my gaze goes a little bit farther. My twist finds a little more ease and softness. Opening up. If you're wearing your shoulders like earrings, relax them down. Now inhale back through center. On the exhale, planting your hands, coming back into plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, upward facing dog. And child's pose on the exhale. Next, inhale. Coming back through to tabletop. And we're going to come into warrior two. So your right foot steps forward. Your back foot comes so it's parallel to the back of your mat. Front foot's at 12 o'clock. Then come to standing, opening your arms out. Pressing your front knee out towards your pinky toe. Feel a straight line of energy from fingertip to fingertip. Relax your face muscles. Flip your palms over. On the inhale, shrug your shoulders up. Exhale, relax them down. Palms back. Find ease with your effort here. Now flip your front palm to reverse your warrior. Get a stretch in your side body. And then we're going to come into extended side angle. So your right elbow comes to your thigh. Reach your left arm up towards the sky. Now, if you feel a little wobbly here, you can always place a block or anything that you have around your house in front of um, your foot to give yourself a little bit of leverage, a little more support. And take your gaze up, and maybe you open your chest up a little bit further. Come back into warrior two. And then we're gonna come back down through to plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, upward facing dog. And child pose on the exhale. Keep flowing next. Inhale, come up through tabletop. Let's go warrior two on the other side. So left foot is at 12 o'clock, right foot spins down. Now, be sure to lift the inner arches of both of your feet. You're really pressing through the pinky toe side of your back foot. You can take a look at your back hand. Mine tends to go way out here and I have to, it helps to look to get it back in one straight line. Now find ease with your effort here. Squinch your shoulders up. Relax them down. Notice how that can bring a little more ease into your body. Release the tension in your face and jaw. Flip your front palm. Reverse your warrior. And then come into extended side angle. So your um, elbow can rest on your thigh. Open your right arm towards the sky. Breathe here. The inhale creates space. Exhale, open up. Inhale to create space. Exhale, move into the space you created. Coming back 
back into warrior two. Wiggle your arms down, step it back. Plank, remember knees down is always an option. Exhale low. Again, inhale for up dog. And child's pose on the exhale. And I want you to take a moment in this child's pose. Tune back into your breath. Notice the difference in your breath now than um, your breath was at the very beginning of your practice. Allow the breath to calm any places that have tightened up. Notice how this child's pose may feel different in your body. Now on the inhale, coming back up through tabletop, downward facing dog. Now if you were okay with walking your hands back to meet your feet, this time I want you to walk your feet up to meet your hands and then come to standing. So one vertebra at a time. Coming up, head comes up last. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands through heart center. And we're gonna um, practice a little bit of balancing here. And balance, I know for myself, I find that when I'm unbalanced off of my mat, I'm so wibble wobbly when I'm practicing balance on the mat, which means I need to practice it even that much more. So if you feel a little wobbly, a little bit unbalanced, that's okay. It's a practice. It's never a perfect. And I always encourage students and myself to embrace those shaky points because we don't grow in our comfort zone. So go ahead and get that same grounded feeling that we um, found at the beginning in Tadasana. So feet are grounded into the earth. Legs are engaged. Feel your outer shins hugging in. Kneecaps lifting. Thighs engaged. Glutes engaged. Imagine the string pulling through the crown of your head. So inhale. Think everything pulling in and up. Exhale. Inhale. Think sternum's lifting. Crown of your head lifts. Now for balance, it's always a good time to, or it's always a good thing to set your gaze, but um, for balance especially, it's very important to set your gaze to a non-moving point somewhere out in front of you in the distance. Focus on your breath. And your bandha, think this pulling in and up. Now we are going to We'll begin to ground down into the left foot, lifting the right leg. But think about the lift coming from here, coming from your core. So you can even place your hands on your hips. Setting your gaze on the inhale. Use your core to lift your right knee up to hip height. You can place your hand on it, but it's just really to rest it. Your core is lifting here. Now, if you feel good here, begin to open out towards the side. For an extra challenge, take your gaze over the opposite shoulder. If you feel wobbly, come back into that four corners, grounding into the earth. Come back into your breath. You can see I'm very wobbly. But notice, I can steady myself by my gaze and my breath. Bring it back through to center and release with control. All right, shake it out. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So grounding down into your right foot and keep water in your standing leg. Inhale, lift your left knee up to hip height. Your foot is flexed towards your knee. 
and breathe here. So many times we get into these balance phases and we stop breathing. Breathe. And when you're ready, you can open that leg up. And for an extra challenge, set your gaze. You can even take your right arm out. and release with control. I want to take a few hip circles here in one direction, the other. And let's try one more. Um, I always, it's always good to do that first balance pose to kind of get a sense of grounding or where we are today. But go ahead, if you can close your eyes here. Think about what your you could add in or incorporate it, whether it's really just focusing on your breath or getting out of your head. Focus on grounding and what you want to add into this next round. So when you're ready, grinding down into your left foot, right knee comes up to hip height. And then opening out to the side. You can see just in this pose by me stopping beforehand, catching my breath, getting grounded. I'm already way more balanced than when I'm not talking. Bring it back through center and release. All right, same thing again. Going on the other side, ground down into your right foot. Left knee lifts. Open out. release. Shake it out. All right. We're going to come to seated now. So one more big inhale, reaching up and on the exhale, folding forward. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then just come down to your seat. And Come into um, Navasana boat pose. So think about that whole that stream pulling in through um, the midline of your body, through the crown of your head. Think lifting. And coming up so that you maybe can find that little sweet spot on your tailbone. Come up under the tips of your toes. Maybe you can find this little balance spot. But keep a long spine here. What we don't want is this. You don't want to drop down into your low back. So your boat may be here with your toes resting on the earth. If you have a straight spine here and you don't feel anything in your low back, maybe you want to raise your legs up. Maybe you want full back. I know for me today, I'm more right here. The minute if you feel yourself caving in, please bring your toes down. All right, come back down. Let's take a stretch. Give yourself a hug. Hug your knees. You can even use your elbows to press. I mean, your knees to press against your elbows. That should give you a nice stretch between the shoulder blades. Inhaling back up tall. And let's come back in the boat. On the exhale, give yourself another hug. Press your elbows out with your knees. One more boat pose. On the inhale, come up. Find that sweet spot. Let's hold it for one more breath. 
on the exhale, give yourself a hug. Now, bring your hands to um, a little bit below your knees on the outer side of your shins. And on the inhale, take a deep breath, really lengthen out through your spine. On the exhale, as I'm pulling your belly back, and you are reaching your fingertips forward, opposite forces of motion. Get that C curve. Inhale, tall. Exhale, to round. Inhaling, tall. And then let's come to an easy seated position. Let's take a couple twists here. All these twisting, all this twisting that we're doing is really flushing, to flushing toxins out of your body. Um, we store uh, lymph in our lymph nodes um, toxins that we either bring into our body or um, even sicknesses um, can stay there. And, and if they're not wrung out, almost like a dirty dish towel, I have to think about twists, like if you're wringing out a dirty dish towel, getting rid of those toxins, things that don't serve us. If um, we're not cleansing ourselves of those things, that can make us sick. So, Take a couple twists here. So just like at the beginning, on the inhale, reach up. On the exhale, let us twist. So take your, your hand that's in front of the outside of your knee, back fingertips behind you. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, twist. Take your gaze over your back shoulder. Let's stay here for three breaths. See if you can find a little more softness, a little more in your twist. Next inhale, come back through center. Exhale, twist in the other direction. Inhale, come back through center. And let's take a few open twists here, more of a flow. So on the exhale, open up, gaze to the back, inhale through center, exhale to open, inhale through center, exhale opening up, inhale through center, exhale to open, one more each side, make it the best yet, inhaling through center, Exhale, open. Inhale through center. Exhale to open. Come back through center. Let's get a stretch in our side body. So inhale, reach up. On the exhale, left hand comes down. Reach your right fingertips over. Now press your ribs out towards the right side. Notice how just the pressing action through the midsection of your body can change this. Make it a little yummier. Keep your neck and head neutral or for a little more. Take your gaze up. If it feels okay, you can even bring your chin down to your bottom shoulder. If you want, you can even come down onto your bottom elbow. Inhale back through center and exhale the other side. Notice how as you sit here and just breathe, everything calms down a little bit. Your muscles stop screaming, our brains stop telling us to get out. Let's do a little that with a little more flow. So inhale through center, exhale, reach. Inhale through center, exhale to reach. Inhale through center, exhale, reach. Last one, inhale through center, exhale to reach. Coming back up through center, and let's come down to our backs. So, you can come down to your mat or the earth any way you please, or remember those sleepwalking arms we had in your belly, pulling back, inhale, think tall, tall, tall spine here, 
On the exhale, belly pulls back and you come down one vertebrae at a time. Going a lot slower than I am, but. <laughs> Breathe, take a full body stretch here. Should feel pretty yummy. And then let's bring your, the soles of your feet in towards your hips. Keep your, keeping your feet hip width distance apart. And we're gonna roll up into a bridge pose. Now, a lot of times, we go ahead and just lift our hips right up into it. But I want you to think about tucking your pelvis, pelvic bone, really pulling your belly in. And on the end, you're going to roll up. Exhale, rolling back down. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhaling down. Take three more of those on your own breath. Finding a little more, a little something new on each one. And then when you are finished with your third one, just remain here in stillness for a moment. Let that settle into your body. And let's come into Supta Baddha Konasana. This is Recline Butterfly. So bringing the soles of your feet together. Right hand comes to your heart, left hand your belly. And if this does not feel okay in your knees or your low back or anywhere else, you can always support your legs and knees with a pillow underneath them. Or you can always bring the soles of your feet to the earth. But take a moment here to close your eyes. This is one of my very favorite poses because I like to think about all the energy that's continuously flowing in our bodies. This wonderful energy and warmth we've created in our practice. And you're sealing this energy in. You are creating this flow with the soles of your feet together, with your hand on your heart and your belly. And take a moment here to take inventory of what's going on in your head space, what energy an attitude you created in your practice, what energy and attitude you had before your practice. And you remain in this butterfly pose. I'm only sitting up so that hopefully you can hear me a little better, but from this pose and your eyes closed, Think about anything that you might have been carrying around that no longer serves you. I know for myself, it's worry or fear. Even loneliness, as we're all in our houses. And think of those things as a state of mind. They're, they're what we create in our body. The only reason I'm worried is because I'm telling myself that I'm worried or fearful. And in reality, we become what our thoughts are. We become the things that we surround ourselves with. So that's why today I haven't turned on the television or anything prior to doing this because we can create our own experiences and our own attitudes and perspectives. So while you're taking inventory here, if there's anything you want to get rid of, anything that no longer serves you, just imagine yourself shifting those thoughts to the side. They're no longer needed. They no longer serve you. And anytime we create space for something new, or anytime we get rid of something, we create space for something new. 
And what do you want to replace those feelings with? Maybe it's having faith, knowing everything is going to be okay. Maybe it's knowing that there's so much to be grateful for, that we're in the comfort of our own homes. Maybe be grateful for your health. You're able to practice today. Whatever it is, whatever energy or perspective you want to cultivate into your life, imagine yourself filling your lungs up with that energy. And on your exhales, imagine it flowing from your lungs throughout your body, creating that constant flow. When you're ready, bring your knees back to center, release your hands. Windshield wiper your legs side to side. And let's take a twist here. So bringing your arms out to a T or football goal post arms, whichever feels good in your body. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Inhale here, create space. Actually feel your belly pulling in and up, create space. And on the exhale, bring your knees over to the left side. With each inhale, think about creating space. And with each exhale, maybe find a little more ease in your twist. Your left hand can be placed on your right knee to guide yourself here. But it should never be forced. Allow each and every breath just to take you a little bit deeper. Allow yourself to find a little more ease and softness, and that alone will allow your muscles to automatically relax a little bit more. Next inhale, bring it back through center. Rock side to side if that feels good. And then prepare the twist on the other side. So inhaling, create space. Exhale, knees come over to the right. Now notice my knees don't all, all <laughs> suddenly, all of a sudden, come directly down to the earth. They just don't. So I keep my left shoulder grounded. Inhale, create space. Exhale, I find a little bit more as my hips begin to stack and soften. Where can you soften here? Really send your breath, this new energy to those places. Bring it back through to center. Hug your knees in. Give yourself a big hug here. Side to side. You can take happy baby. For happy baby, your elbows come to the inside of your knees. Hands come to the outside of your feet. Tailbone stays on the earth. You can rock side to side if that feels good. If that's too much, you can grab the, out, the um, backs of your thighs. And then let's prepare for Savasana, which is our final resting pose. And you're just going to extend long on your mat. Bring your legs out to the outer edges. Bring your arms down by your sides. 
Let go of all your effort here. Let go of the effort in your breath. Let's take a few fallout breaths. So inhale, big fill up. Hold it. Sigh through your mouth. Two more, fill up. Sigh through your mouth. One more, biggest breath yet. Sigh it out through your mouth. And enjoy your Savasana. We're going to stay here about three minutes and just remain in complete silence, complete stillness from this place. Your, your jaw is heavy. Release the effort. Relax the muscles in your forehead and your face. And give yourself time here to absorb your practice and this energy you created. Begin to take some gentle movement in your body, bringing the awareness back. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a full body stretch. It's first thing in the morning. Hug your knees in one at a time. Then coming over to one side, press yourself up to an easy seated position. And take a moment here with your eyes closed. Take a moment to find gratitude. What do you have to be grateful for? And take a moment to acknowledge Something that you'll take away from your practice today off of your mat. And let's bring our arms out by our sides and take one final breath together like we did at the beginning. 
of our practice. So on the inhales, keeping up all this yummy energy you've created. Exhale, bring it into your heart center. The light and love in me honors and loves the light within each of you. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center. I bow to you and say namaste. Thank you guys for joining me today. And um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback. And um, this is my first real yoga lesson that I've recorded, so I'm planning to do more. So please go ahead and hit subscribe and like if you like this. And uh, feel free to message me if you have any requests or questions.